Hello and welcome to this week's Bolter Vet TV. Here's what's coming up. Local residents in Blackwell have shown their creative side as some new larger than life wood sculptors have been popping up along the Blackwell Trail. Green bin collections will start again from the 15th of March after a break during the winter months. Good causes across Bolsover District can now start to benefit from the council's community lottery scheme. And Whitwell Parish Council have taken ownership of their first electric vehicle. But first, with unemployment at an all-time high, young people are finding it harder than ever to get a job. Workers aged under 24 account for nearly half of the total fall in employment during the economic slump. That's according to research by the Institute for Employment Studies. But Bolsover District Council is booking this trend and has been for a while. They're employing young people through its successful apprenticeship programme. And one of those who joined the scheme two years ago is Corey Walters. He recently passed his Chartered Institute of Procurement and Supply exam and he's now employed permanently by the council. He told us what it meant to him to have this opportunity. Yeah, so just sort of looking for work at the time. Um, seeing this, it was local to me. Thought procurement seemed an interesting thing to get into. It's not really something that the average person knows much about. Well, I began April 2019, so it's coming up to two years next month. They started me on a business admin apprenticeship. So that funded my role for the first year. Took a year to complete the course. Um, and the idea was once I completed it, I'm gaining practical on the job training. And then that would lead me into sort of more the academic side of procurement where I'd go and study for my SIPs. Recently passed my first exam. Um, that'll follow on several more exams, which hopefully I'll pass as well. And then I'll move on to the level five, then the level six, and then that's it all completed and rounded off nicely, yeah. I've had plenty of support in sort of doing it. And um, it's been a good jumping off point to actually go into the um, qualification now. I've had that year to sort of gain that practical on the job experience. It was outlined to me when I started the apprentice sort of the career path pretty clearly, um, the way they wanted to do it anyway by my manager, Sandy. And um, to be honest, they've delivered on everything. You, now you're on the other side of the apprenticeship. How important do you look back at that time as an apprentice and, and the knowledge it gave you? Um, yeah, I think it's sort of like the building blocks, like sort of built a nice foundation. Um, it gave me time to sort of get used to the role, get used to the people, get used to just working in the public sector and for the council. So it's nice to just get a year's experience. The apprenticeship was very helpful and I think I've been in, better, I've been in a better position to take on the later qualification than I would have been if I'd just dived straight into that. Um, so yeah, it's something I definitely recommend. Now, if you go for a walk along the Blackwell Trail, you may come across some rather large wooden sculptures. A miner, a bell, a miner's lamp, and a bird bath on top of a tree are just some of the sculptures that have been designed by local people and carved out of wood by sculptor Andrew Frost. The designs are based on the local heritage, community, and wildlife in the area, and I've been to take a look at them and speak to some of the people involved in the project. To celebrate the heritage and also the natural beauty of the, of the area. It was decided that we would use wooden sculptures to this end and these wooden sculptures to be designed by people from the parish. It's, it, the, the interesting thing about the job is it's all community based. So um, each sculpture was actually designed by the, the community, by, by, the, by the village. And the best designs are what you see here today. You had a fair few responses. How did you feel about the uh, Oh, you had? they were absolutely over the moon. It was fantastic, the amount of interest. And um, it sort of gave us um, confidence that we were working in the right direction. Isaac, we'll start with you. You're stood next to, to your design. How does that make you feel? pretty proud that it's in front of me. And when this will be year, here for years now, what do you think when you walk past it now that you designed this, your family designed this? I feel really proud that I've actually made something that's going to stay here for quite a long time. His, his brother Ruben uh, also got involved uh, and, and mum and dad uh, did quite a lot of it as well. 
Isaac uh, entered the competition because we wanted to leave something here that will be here for, for the future for people to look at and uh, and see it on their, their dog walks and their just their normal walks and bike rides and it's just a lovely thing to be there. There's one uh, which was quite uh, a difficult one really, but it was a minor, but the, the child wanted the arm to move up and down as if he was digging, digging the, the coal out of the ground, so that was quite fun. Um, the other one is a, kind of a bird feeding station, which is in the shape of a tree. So the, the, the bird feeders are hung from the branches and there's a big bird table on it. And um, the third is a miner's lamp. The West Houser's Bell, yeah, which was really nice actually because that was a, a child designed that and all they gave me was a, a bell, a design, just a drawing of a bell with the West Houser School icon on it. And um, to, kick, to get the height, I put it on a block and uh, the child then drew designs that we actually copied. So the designs on the block, the leaves and the compass and the... Um, an interpretation of a family were actually drawn by that, by that child and we actually just literally copied the, those images onto the sides. That if people go to West Houses and they just join, then they can come look at basically what it's all about. Like the bell every morning when you came in. It was like quite fun to just hear the bell every morning. So we've got a picture of our, our dogs and our family walking. We've got some uh, pictures of um, uh, some leaves on it as well, and my little sculpture, which is the uh, poo sticks game, throwing the little stick in the, uh, in the river. Well, I think we're all very proud of what we've achieved, but to, again, this is just one strand in many strands that we've still yet to come to. Is this the start of you popping up wood sculptures all over Blackwell? Only the start. Green Bin Collections will start again from the 15th of March after a break over the winter months. Grass cuttings, hedge trimmings and food waste, including bones, can be placed into the bin ready for collection. Residents are asked to refer to the collection calendars, which have been delivered to households across the area, for more detailed information on their bin collections. Good causes across Bolsover District can start to benefit from the Council's new Community Lottery Scheme. The Bolsover District Community Lottery is an exciting weekly lottery where 60 pence from every pound benefits local groups, organisations and charities. Good causes must either be located within or benefit the residents of Bolsover District and registration is now open, allowing good causes to learn more about the lottery and how they can benefit. Local residents are being warned to be on the lookout for scam artists who are impersonating council officials and targeting dog walkers. Reports have been received of dog walkers in South Normanton being approached by a person in a black uniform, complete with cameras, stating that they are a council officer and issuing on-the-spot fines of £80 to people who have let their dog off the lead. Dog owners are asked not to hand over any money if they are approached and also asked to see identification. And finally, Whitwell Parish Council is going electric and is urging others to follow suit as they've struck a deal with Van World of Chesterfield to buy their first electric vehicle. The Parish Council has pledged to do all it can to protect the local environment and they've made a start by replacing their 16-year-old van with a brand new electric Renault Kangoo van. The vehicle will be used by their handyman as he drives around the parish and the council have said that not only will this protect the environment through through zero emissions, but it will also save over £300 per year in fuel costs and have zero car tax. We caught up with the Parish Council as they took ownership of their new van. Tom, you are standing by a van which is, is unique in itself. Tell us all about it. So, we have decided after 16 years to replace our community vehicle and we decided this was a golden opportunity to go electric. So today, very excitingly, we are actually picking up our electric van. And I believe we are the first parish council within Bolsover District to do so. I'd like to think that all other parish councils will be looking as they move forward to a similar sort of move in the direction of emission-free transport. And this isn't a one-off 
opportunity, is it? This is the start of something, hopefully. Absolutely. Wetwood Parish Council is pioneering something here, and hopefully, as soon as possible, lots of other parish councils and the district council will also do the same. And just very quickly, you've worked with Van World on on this opportunity. How good have they been? Van World have been absolutely superb. Couldn't have been happier with the way in which they've helped us and worked with us to make sure we can be at the forefront of this fantastic development. And like Bolsover District Council, Whitwell Parish Council has established a climate aware group and we are working hard as a parish, not just to purchase emission-free vehicles, but to increase tree planting and to be environmentally alert and aware. And that's all we've got time for this week. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next week on Bolsover TV. Goodbye.